What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we defeated Lieutenant Surge for our third badge, and well, we have a few options ahead of us, one being, you know, complete this route, go to Diglett's Cave, and then go to Celadon City. So what we're going to do first is we're going to be battling a lot of people right now. You know, this episode right here is strictly battling, catching Pokemon and all that stuff. Mainly because by the time I get done with the whole Diglett's Cave thing, I kind of want to go off screen to capture as many Pokemon as possible. Level as many teams as possible because this game actually does enable you to have bigger and better teams. Um, as you can see, not so long ago, I actually transferred my old team from my my very first run through of this game in here ultra psycho you got tank godzilla godzilla you got thrasher and hydra of course Aaliyah, my pikachu is in the uh, daycare right now so what what i what i'm gonna try and do right now is i'm gonna try and battle as many people as possible because why not so what we're gonna do first is i gotta move this guy right here just to make sure that you know, I have all the Pokemon aligned. Eventually, I will be changing up another Pokemon here and there. Just for the sake of this whole game right now. So, let's go right ahead and continue our adventure. Straight into the next route right here. And, well, would you look at this. It's a Master Trainer or Coach Trainer, probably. I don't know. Alright, let's see. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out Pokemon. Let's go with Leonardo and see what happens. I may may pick the wrong Pokemon. Let's see. Don't you like Route 11? The double ones in the, uh, or the double ones in its name are cool. And guess what? I'm a coach trainer on Route Double One. I'm a coach trainer. Do you think you can take me on? Sure. Let's go right ahead and battle. As you guys may know, coach trainers are very powerful. They will uh, challenge you here and there. And as you can see, homeboy here does have a Radita. So here we go with uh, Leonardo, the uh, the war turtle right here. So let's go right ahead and go with the water gun right here. But of course, he's got to come out with a crunch. So that's not going to be that's not going to be something right there. So now our defense has fallen. So let's go, water gun doesn't do much. All right, try it again. Try it again. Come on. Oh jeez. Okay, another water gun, not so powerful. You know what? Time to power up my withdrawal. And this guy here. Yeah, that's right. Try and break my defense right now. Okay, so we're back to original defense. Let's try it again. Water gun. And Jesus Christ, man, this guy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're gonna probably switch out our Pokemon. Can't believe a Raditz is actually put, pushing us to the brink right here. So let's go right ahead. Let's do this. Switch out our Pokemon. And let's go with Sparky. Alrighty. Let's see. Alrighty. Let's get this. Let's go with a double kick attack right here. Bam. And here's another one. And there goes the Raditz. Feeling good. Say goodbye to Radita. And of course, Sparky takes the win. Trainer Will has been defeated, and I feel good. I feel great. Look at that. So after that, he's like, You're strong. You've got me in a good mood, so take these. And we get ourselves five Pikachu candies, which will actually help out our Pikachu's health a little bit better. Let's see. If you want to get candy for specific Pokemon, try catching these species over and over and send them to the professor, which I did. Yeah, guys, I, I sent a lot of Pokemon to the Professor after, uh, you know, doing my thing, capturing Pokemon, powering up, and all that stuff. And, well, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to heal up my Pokemon here because nobody likes a weak Pokemon or, you know, a frail Pokemon or anything like that. So, let's go get that. Alrighty. Let's move on now. Now, is there an item right here? No. Could be wrong. I don't know. But there is a trainer right here who wants to battle us. Let's go, but don't cheat. All right, all right. Let's do this. Maximum effort. You are challenged by youngster Eddie, and he'll be coming out with a Nidorino. Damn it! So yeah, these Pokemon are a little stronger. 
And Leonardo right now still doesn't have a very good Pokemon move except for Water Gun. I think I have Scald. Probably have Scald. I don't know. Yeah, I think I have Scald. So let's go right again and use that Water Gun. And bam. Say goodbye to Nidorino. Alrighty. And of course, Budkiss grows to level 22. This is great. This is awesome. Okay. Let's go right ahead and use Scald since I do have that move. Should give that to Leonardo just because, well, it's a little bit more powerful and it actually comes with a very good effect right there. So here we go. Say goodbye to Water Gun and say hello to Scald, which is a very dang good move. So now, let us move on right here, not get attacked by this guy. And look at that, there is a drowsy... Ooh, Mr. Mime! I'm gonna capture this guy. You can capture these kinds of Pokemon here, guys. And look at that, Mr. Mime. He's a little trickster right now. Come on, move over here, you little bastard. Come on. And... Come on. Come on. Move. Oh god, oh god, come on. Uh, this guy's not moving. Okay. Alright, he's not moving at all. Alright, um... Alright, let's go with a berry right here. Alright. Start moving. There we go. Damn it! Oh my god. He tricked us. You slut. Ah. Oh. There we go. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in there. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Capturing these Pokemon are just... It's just difficult. And look at that. Leonardo grows to level 25. And... Well, we get another Pokedex entry right here. We got Mr. Mime. Always practicing his uh, pantomime act. It makes enemies believe something exists that really doesn't. And as you can see right here, it is both a psychic and fairy type Pokemon, so it's a very good Pokemon to actually have in the sense of, you know, like, different typings and all that stuff. So, let's go ahead and start battling people. Ha 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 I never lost. So have I. In this game. If you guys remember in Pokemon Yellow, I did lose. Only lost a record. And that was from the beginning. God dang it. So, here we go, coming out with a... Oh, crud, he's coming out with a Poliwag, so... That is not going to work for us. We're going to have to probably switch out right here. So, let's go switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Sparky. Let's do this. Alrighty. Sparky, what's up? And here comes that Pound Attack. Not going to be so powerful, but guess what? Zippy Zap could say something different right here. Look at this. Zippy Zap away yeah buddy all right look at that look at that <laughs> have defeated this guy right here and of course Dirk is about to send out Machop so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon do I have somebody that can beat him it is time to try Dratini now that it can actually you know uh, breed just a little bit when it comes to Pokemon battles so here we go Dratini what's up and, well, let's go right ahead and do our thing. Thunder, or Dragon Rage. <laughs> I was about to say Thunder Rage. Look at that. And, well, Karate Chop does its thing right here. But guess what? We got another Dragon Rage ready to destroy this guy. Suck on those lemons. Machop defeated. Yeah, buddy. And, well, his first loss right there. He's not so mad after all. <laughs> Alright, so let's move on right here and try and get some Pokeballs. That Drowsy is like... It's like asking. It's begging for me to capture him. But what I'm going to do right now is I am actually going to be switching out Pokemon and battling as much as I can. And, well, let's go right ahead. Now, as you can see, Mew's right here. <laughs> I'm going to change its name. I just realized that it could have a pretty cool name right here. Let's see. Let's go with this. Mew. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, wait. Space. Uh, okay, right here. 
right here D mu D here we go uno meaning mu <laughs> mu mu di uno basically meaning the first mu so there we go mu di uno is a pretty good nickname in my opinion if you guys don't like it oh well <laughs> all right let's go ahead and switch out our pokemon or go ahead and battle this guy right here hello do you use electricity safely or electricity electricity safely at home maybe i don't know Gonna have a lot of stuff uh, turned on right here in my room. So, here we go. El Engineer Braxton coming out with his uh, good old Voltorb. Alright, Buckus. Let's take care of this. Okay, let's go. Flamethrower attack. And here comes that swift attack, which, of course, does its thing. But here we go. Flamethrower. Takes care of that. Voltorb is no more. Yeah, buddy. And, well, that was pretty much it right there. He's just shocked and stuff. Alrighty. That's a little bit of revenge. But we're finding items left and right right here, so that's always good. Here we have an X defense. And, well, here we have another Pokemon trainer. I will be capturing some of these Pokemon later on, guys. And here we have another lure. And this guy right here. Hey, do you always turn off lights? Yes, I do. Alrighty, let's go. Engineer, Bernie wants the battle, and he will be coming out with his Magnemite, so of course this is going to be revenge time for Budkiss. Alright, Budkiss, time to do your thing. Finish him. Right here, flamethrower attack. Alrighty, look at that. Oh yes, Magnemite defeated. It's a little bit of revenge right there for you. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a Voltorb, so let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon now. Let's go back to Dratini. Now, you guys are wondering why I don't give this Pokemon a nickname. Got it in my previous run. Can't switch out the nickname. My bad. So here we go, Dratini. And look at that. Voltorb looking like a, a beast. Let's go with a Dragon Rage. And, of course, Swift Attack, pretty good. But it won't stuff us. Look at that. Voltorb kicking, getting his ass kicked. Let's finish this guy off with a headbutt. And look at that. Thunder Shock won't do a thing. But here comes that headbutt. Yes, sir. Look at that. Look at that. Alrighty. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're, we're definitely winning right here. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, so let us move on right here and find some more Pokemon trainers. I think we've never beaten this guy before, so let's see. I have never won before. Then how come you're standing there? Why? Your Pokemon, pro your Pokemon probably don't like you. I'm just saying. So here we go. Gentleman Wilco wants to battle, and he, oh crud, has a Volt or Vulpix. All right, let's go, Budkiss. Let's get this. Let's go. Let's go with a dig attack right here. Okay, so here we go. Burring away. And that's a missed hit right there. So here we go. Dig attack. Does its thing. <laughs> One hit. KO. Look at that. Book is taking it. Taking it to that Vulpix. And he's just not happy. <laughs> Alright, what do you have to say for yourself, homeboy? I try to think victory depends on luck of one day. Otherwise, I get depressed. No, you probably need to train your Pokemon a little bit better. I think. Or get more than just one Pokemon. I don't know. Alright, so there's Mr. Mime again. And, of course, we're going to be battling a whole bunch of other people. Like I said, guys, I'm going to go off screen and just beat the crap out of everybody. Capture everybody and then grow my Pokemon's levels just because I can. So here we go. We're taking on Sailor Yatsu. And he will be coming out with a slow poke right here. Alrighty. Bring it. Alrighty. So here we go. Pick the wrong... Oh, hey, actually, we do have a good move right here. Let's go. Take down attack. There we go. And that was a good move. We're just getting hit with by recoil. And stuff like this does get us hurt. So 
Let's go ahead and switch. Let's go straight to Sparky right here. Alrighty. Let's go, Sparky. Let's go. Let's do this. And here comes its water gun attack. Not so effective, but here comes Thunderbolt. Yes, sir. Thunderbolt for the win! Look at that. Say goodbye to Slowpoke. Oh, yes. Feeling good. Feeling great. Defeated him. My Pokemon are getting levels. Mew de Uno grows to level 26. I feel great. Yeah, I still have used Mew the Uno. I'm probably just, you know, the, he's probably just there just to, you know, grow levels because I got him from the Pokeball. Win, loser, draw. Oh, well, okay. Okay, here we go. Going up against Gamer Hugo. Wanting to battle, and <laughs> he's got himself his, his dungeon dice rolls and stuff. And crud, I got a butt kiss right here. Shoot. Okay, let's do this. Bring it. Let's go with a flamethrower. It's not going to be very effective. And that right there. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, butt kiss. All right. Leonardo time. Let's get it. Let's go, Leonardo. All right. We got a new move. Let's go with Scald. Scald attack for the win. Look at that. Say goodbye to Diglett. Oh, yes. I feel good. I feel great. And this guy... <laughs> wow, one hit KO beats me like that. What are the odds? All right, let's go right ahead and grab that Pokeball right there. And it gets us a Super Repel, which will, of course, help us get away from Pokemon right here. And, well, let's see. Defeated these guys. And there's one more trainer right there. But before we go to her, so I had to and grab this item right here. Grabbed ourselves five great balls. Very, very good. And well, before we do anything, I think I do have a revive right here. So hold on. Yes, there we got eight revives, which is good. But I'm I, I'm gonna have to buy some more later on. And do that. Do that. And do that. There we go. Okay, so everybody's good. Let's go right ahead and... Who? Who? Oh, well, Budkiss is our lowest level Pokemon right now. So we're just going to keep him right there just for the for the time being. So let's go ahead and battle this girl in front of a whole bunch of Pokemon right here. Just to assert my dominance on this. Just to show them that, hey, you come with me, you're going to get leveled up, or you're going to get transferred to Professor Oak. Either way, you're still mine. So here we go, last Tamo Wants the battle, coming out with her Jigglypuff. Oh, great. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's get it, Butkus. And I'm about to fall on my bed. So let's go with the Flamethrower attack. There we go. And Jigglypuff has been defeated. Oh yes, Butt is kicking butt, losing twice, and here she comes out with a neat arena. I'm gonna stay put. Alrighty, let's go. You don't like me, and I don't like you. But guess what? Flamethrower. For the win, neat arena. Say goodbye. Alrighty, and look at that. Smasher grows to level 28, and Tamo has been defeated. Yes, sir, Rebob. Okay. So, they already got a glimpse of what could happen. And these guys are not letting me through. And I think there's an item right here. Found ourselves a revive. And... No, nothing right there. So, I think we're, we came to an end right here. So now, what's going to happen is I'm going to try and steer away from these guys. And, well, if you talk to these guys, let's see... If you're aiming to reach Lavender Town, go through Rock Tunnel. You can get to Rock Tunnel from Cerulean City. Huh. And let's see. Don't you think it's hard to uh, think of good names for Pokemon? But then again, why not just try out new nicknames every day until you get it right? Uh, well, not really good with the nicknames. I'm just like, I just come with the nicknames with wherever I see them and all that stuff. Now, if you talk to this girl, I want to head to Lavender Town, but there's a huge Pokemon in the way. Sound asleep. Huh. 
What happens right here? Let's see what the binoculars have to show. A big Pokemon asleep in the road. And then this one right here. Let's see what's behind the binoculars. To get to Lavender Town, go going through Rock Tunnel from Cerulean City appears to be a good route to take. Now, if you talk to him, this guy here. Hi, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's assistants. The Pokemon told me, or the professor told me, if you if your Pokemon Pokedex has good data on 30 species of Pokemon, I'm to give you a judge fact function. So, Draven, let me ask you. Have you gathered data on at least 30 species of Pokemon? I think so. And I did it. Great, you've caught 46 species of Pokemon. Congratulations, now let me update your Pokebox. And we got ourselves a judge function. View Pokemon summary via your Pokemon box, and you'll be able to see their potential. So I think that's what it does, so let's see. Let's go right ahead and see what we got. Um, all right, let's go ahead and try out. Let's go ahead and try out the Ivysaur we evolved a while back. Let's see. Check summary. Let's see. This is what it is. Where's the judge function? Ah, here we go. You press the you press the Y button, and this one has amazing stats. It now if you look at this one, it's way better. Like. This Pokemon is way better than the uh, the Bulbasaur that we caught back in uh, in the Viridium Forest. But this guy is like great, so I'm gonna make sure to keep that Pokemon around. Now, how about the how about the Charmeleon that we got a while back? Let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. Fantastic stats. So a very very good Pokemon. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, let's see a Pokemon that I got. From a previous game. So let's see. So as you can see, it's the same Pokemon. It's basically the same Pokemon that I got, except fantastic stats and all that stuff. So that is that. And well, let's go ahead and take a look at a Pokemon right here, like Mew de Unu. Check the summary. Yes, Pokeball Plus met at level one. Press that button, and it has really amazing stats. It's best stats, special defense, HP, and everything else in between. So, it's a pretty good Pokemon, I guess. And then, let's see. Well, I guess you could use the, the, you know, the judge thing just to actually, you know, pick out the right Pokemon to keep and all that stuff. Because eventually, you have to move in and out. Send them to uh, Professor Rogue. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at Buckus right here. And Buckus has okay stats. It's very good at stat, or its best stat is a special attack, so I guess we all know what we can actually do for this guy. And let's go with Leonardo. Let's see what we got. Press that button, and just like that, amazing stats. It's fantastic stat, it happens to be special defense, so it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, item to actually have on your, on your equipment right here, guys. So now... We're going to be moving on forward and checking out what's going on on the other side right here. So, they're saying there's a large Pokemon. There is a large Pokemon blocking the way right here. Here we are in Route 12, and, well, he is blocking the way. Pokemon is spalled out in the deep, comfortable slumber. Yep, can't do anything about it. We already caught a... Well, we already have a Snorlax on our quote-unquote team and all that stuff. So now... It is fine time to go to the Diglett's Cave, I guess. Which will be in the next episode. Yeah. Other than that, I'm just going to be, like, capturing all these Pokemon right here, guys. Lots of good Pokemon. Very rare Pokemon right here if you use a lure. And, well, that will... Well, I'm going to have to save that in, in the meantime. So, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys. God dang it. Never mind. Hold on. I'm going to capture you, you little asshole. Okay, come on. God dang it. There we go. I think I used up all five of those new Great Balls that I got. There we go. You're mine. Look at that. <laughs> Get stopped by this Pokemon, and everybody grabs a good point right there. Okay. So let's try this again. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.